Welcome to Sports Spectrum, the sports and faith podcast that brings Jesus back into the conversation. Here's your host, Jason Romano. This episode of the Sports Spectrum podcast with Ladanian Tomlinson, Pro Football Hall of Fame running back, is sponsored by Compassion International. Go to Compassion.com slash Sports Spectrum and sponsor a child today. Every child is being discipled in the Word of God, and over 150,000 children chose to follow Jesus Christ in the last year alone through the great work being done by Compassion International. We're talking about one child at a time, and it works. It's simply $38 that you contribute every single month and you release this child from poverty. It's an amazing opportunity for you to make a difference in a child's life. Compassion is the most trusted child development ministry in the world. Go to Compassion.com slash Sports Spectrum and sponsor a child today. Today's guest on the podcast, Pro Football Hall of Fame running back Ladanian Tomlinson joins us. Now, he was selected by the San Diego Chargers in the first round of the 2001 NFL Draft. He played with the Chargers for many years, 2001 to 2009, and then went to the Jets for his final two years in 2010 and 2011. The man was great. Let's just put it that way. He is a legend, five-time Pro Bowler, 2006 NFL MVP, two-time NFL rushing leader, NFL 2000's all-decade team, an NFL record 28 rushing touchdowns in 2006, 13,684 career rushing yards and 144 rushing touchdowns, all culminating in 2017 with a Pro Football Hall of Fame induction. The man was a great football player. He's also doing work currently with the NFL Network as a broadcaster, and his most recent project, which is how we were able to get Ladanian on the podcast, is his appearance in a new movie called God Bless the Broken Road, which releases everywhere Friday, September 7th, and tells the inspirational story of a young mother who loses her husband in Afghanistan and struggles to raise their young daughter in his absence. The film focuses on the importance of family, friends, and of course, faith, while paying tribute to those who serve in the United States military. And LT plays the role of Pastor Williams in this movie, who helps a widow restore her faith in God. And the film also stars American Idol alum Jordan Sparks. And again, that movie, God Bless the Broken Road, releasing Friday, September 7th. And on this episode of the podcast, we talk with LT about being in a movie and being a movie star and acting and what that looks like compared to playing football for so many years. And he plays a pastor. So I ask him about whether he might want to consider becoming a pastor someday and certainly talking about how the opportunity came up and how his faith played a role in his life and during his NFL playing career. Really good interview here. Take a listen to our conversation with Pro Football Hall of Fame running back Ladanian Tomlinson here on the Sports Spectrum Podcast. Ladanian, welcome to the Sports Spectrum Podcast. Thank you, Jason. Great to be on with you. It's great to, to have you joining us here on the program. And of course, everybody knows about LT, the football star, the Hall of Fame running back. But now you're LaDainian Tomlinson, the movie star, appearing as Pastor Williams in the new film, God Bless the Broken Road, releasing everywhere Friday, September 7th. Tell me how this opportunity came about for you. Yeah, so um, and uh, one of the executive producers of the film is a gentleman that I've known for a long time. And he called me up out of the blue one day, and he said, hey, we're casting for a film and we need a pastor, and I thought of you. And he said, just, you know, before you tell me to school off, hear me out. And he said, um, you know, the interesting and unique thing about this film is that parts of the proceeds will benefit DAV, Disabled American Veterans. And that was really intriguing to me. Um, you know, I was really interested in that part of it because of my work in the community, and so many things that I, I, I do with the military, um, I thought that was unique and just a great opportunity to be a part of something special like that. And after reading the script of the of the film, I fell in love with it. I felt like it was something that I just needed to do. I, I you know, I, I wanted to be a part of this film, and that's how it happened. 
you play a pastor in this role, which I think is great. And your faith is obviously an important part of your life. And I want to talk about that in a moment. But tell me about why playing a pastor was appealing to you. Why, why you kind of, you know, I watched the movie and it was a really good movie and I thought you did a great job in your role. Tell me about playing a pastor. Yeah, well, I, you know, it goes back to my upbringing, to be honest with you. And um, I've been around a number of pastors and had a great relationship with, with the number of those pastors. And, you know, those people, pastors, are, are inspiring people. You know they, you know they're they're there to to serve the congregation and the people in that church, but also they are usually strong individuals that they take in a lot. You know, there's a lot of things that they go through, but but they have the faith to to take it all in and and really, it seems like to me that they are some of the strongest faithful people that you come across. And so um, I had the experience of when I was growing up, our pastor would do um, this one thing in church where he he called it um, kids night, where the kids had to run the whole service right up into preaching the sermon. And and I was fortunate enough to do this uh, a few times as a kid preach a sermon. <laughs> and so I felt like it was a role that I could really, really relate to, that I was somewhat used to. And um, that's kind of how, how it happened. You've done a lot of great things in the NFL and obviously accomplished a lot of very difficult things. How difficult was it to act in a movie or did it come fairly easy for you? You know, the most difficult part um, of this all, Jason, was was really carrying out the vision of the director, Harold Crump. And really, you're telling the story, but you're acting it out. And, the, you know, some people say, is it hard to remember your lines? I, I don't think it's hard at all because of my experience of being an athlete and, and playing football, preparing for a game every week and studying the playbook. So all those things is something that I took into um, uh, account of remembering my my role, remembering my my lines, because that's the one thing that that I think that's the quality in a football player that will never go away is how to study, how to prepare for a role, a game, you know whatever you go through. Football kind of prepared me for those situations. The most difficult part was understanding how to tell this story through acting, especially when you have, you know, co-actors and actresses in the same scene. And, you know, that's that's the most difficult thing about it. We're talking to LaDainian Tomlins here, the Pro Football Hall of Famer on the Sports Spectrum podcast. The movie is God Bless the, the Broken Road, and it releases Friday, September 7th. Uh, we've seen many NFL players become pastors, Ladani, and guys like Lance Crump and Napoleon Kaufman, Derwin Gray, Miles McPherson, just to name a few. Could you ever see the role of pastor become a real thing for you in your future? I know you're in broadcasting and you've been out of the game a few years, but could that be something, ministry, that you would potentially look into someday? I would say I would never say never because you know I don't I don't plan my own path. That's the path that. You know, God has has for me, and and you know, I just kind of follow it. So I would never say never. Um, you know, my mom is a pastor, and so certainly, I mean, it runs in our family. But I think even now, you know, there are ways that I minister, you know, in my own way, and and not just being, you know, in church or being at the pulpit. I minister to family members on phone calls, friends on phone calls, you know, in person, you know, go, you know, so there's different ways to, to minister to people. You know, at the end of the day, it's all for the greater good of God. At your Hall of Fame induction, you said, and I'll quote you, the principal reason I'm standing here is God who gave me my ability, my purpose. Since I was a child, I've had a very personal relationship with God. Can you tell us real quick about 
with that personal relationship with the Lord and kind of where it started? You mentioned your mom was a pastor or is a pastor. Tell me about growing up and learning about who Jesus was and what he meant to you. So, you know, I've always been involved in, in the church. Um, and, but, but like most kids, you know, there are times where you, you know, you don't take it seriously growing up too much. And, you know, sometimes you, you have to be told and, and, and basically screamed at to, to go to church and to get up in the morning and get ready for church. It wasn't until until my freshman year in high school that that all changed for me. I had an older cousin that I looked up to, and he was a senior. He was a senior when I was a freshman in high school. And I remember, you know, one Sunday, his life changed. And, you know, he, he it just... It was something that drastically happened. He was overcome, you know, with the Spirit of God and, and just changing his life. And shortly after, that same thing happened to me. But there was a prophecy on my life at that time that said, God will take you places that you never imagined if you, if you continue to put him first mm-hmm. and have faith. And I, I'll, I'll tell you, Jason... You know, from from that time of being a freshman in high school to where I am, I can truly say without a shadow of a, of a doubt that God has taken me places that I never imagined. And I always have kept the faith and kept him first. And just, you know, for all those people out there um, who are struggling with their faith and, and not sure if, if that's the right thing to do, I mean, I come from a small country town. I never knew a professional athlete that come from my town. I never knew a movie star to come from my town. But yet God put me in position to be in the Hall of Fame for a reason. And now fulfilling the dream of of being on the big screen acting, you know, it's truly amazing what God will do for your life if you do believe in him. This is a sports and faith podcast, obviously. Tell me, LT, about staying grounded in your faith during your playing career, a career that was so public, a profession that has so many temptations, so many people wanting a piece of you, a piece of all of the fame that you're, you know, that you're acclimating and you're accumulating. Tell me about how you were able to stay grounded in the Lord during your, your playing career. Well, first off, it's about the foundation that you have to set. Uh, you have to have the foundation of knowing what's the centerpiece in your life. As everything starts to turn and, and you know, ups and downs happen, the foundation that, that you have to stand on no matter what is your faith in God. And then the other thing is the people you surround yourself with. So I mentioned that my mom being a pastor. There were times where I needed to call her and get that encouraging word and, and to be lifted up in times where I felt down and, and where, where I was disappointed. Also, my wife and, you know, those times where I was hurting after a game, after a big loss and, you know, needing, needing her to kind of get me through it and, 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 and make me believe that it was all for a purpose. The people you put into your life or that are around you, those people heavily influence um, your decision making and the things that that are most important to you. So, having the foundation and the people that are most important to you, putting the right people around you, those are the things that allow me to withstand, you know, the trials and tribulations and and the whirlwind that is the National Football League. A couple more questions with Ladanian Tomlinson here on the Sports Spectrum Podcast. Let me ask a football question, I guess, for you. It's been seven years since you last played in an NFL game in 2011. What do you miss most about playing football? I, I miss uh, the relationships with my teammates. You know, spending time after games on that bus, um, you know, on the plane, being in the locker room. You know, those are the things that I miss because those are the relationships, you know, that you, you, you're with these men day in and day out. And you get to know them sometimes better than their own family knows them. And you build a lifetime, uh, a, a lifelong relationship, I should say. And so, you know, those are the things that I miss. 
and, and then every now and then, every now and then, I miss running out the tunnels on Sundays. Hmm. You know, especially opening week. You know, when I see those guys this Sunday, you know, at, at, at 12 Eastern, or 1 Eastern, I should say, when they when they run out that tunnel getting ready to play, I'll get some butterflies. I'll get some old feelings that'll come back. And the, those are the things that I miss. But I'll tell you, Jason, that's where it stops at after they run out the tunnel. <laughs> I'm guessing you don't miss getting hit, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> tell me about LT. This is the last question we'll ask you. What are you learning from the Lord during this season of life where God has you? You know, you're 39 now. You're in the Hall of Fame. Uh, you're working with NFL Network. You're in the movie. God bless the broken road. So many great things happening for you. But what is what is the Lord teaching you right now during this season of life? You know, Jason, that's a really great question. And no one has, has ever asked me that. Um, and so um, this is a very... To me, this is a very honest and genuine answer that I'm giving you. Mm -hmm. Um, I believe what I'm learning right now is just the balance of life and the transition of life, meaning I have two young kids that are, my son is eight and my daughter will be seven on Monday. And, you know, they, they, they weren't around when I played football. They were little guys. My son was just born uh, the year before uh, my first year with the Jets, and my daughter was born my last year uh, with the Jets, and then I retired. And so finding balance in life to be a father, a husband, but also still, you know, kind of be a provider and, and all those things that I need to be for them, but also, you know, the balance of, of spreading my own wings. As you mentioned, being in the movie and being on NFL Network, and I also work for the Chargers. And so those are the most difficult things is how to find the balance, how to make sure that I, I give time to my wife, I give time to my kids, but I also do my job as well. And that is very difficult. It was very difficult for me last year, and I hope to do a better job of it this year. He is LaDainian Tomlinson, Pro Football Hall of Fame running back, NFL Network analyst. The movie is called God Bless the Broken Road. It releases everywhere Friday, September 7th. We're excited to see how it does and excited to see you, LaDainian Tomlinson, in the movie. Thanks so much for joining us, and we wish you nothing but the best going forward. Thank you. Hey, thank you, Jason. Good stuff there from LaDainian Tomlinson, Pro Football Hall of Fame running back, joining us here on the Sports Spectrum Podcast. The movie is God Bless the Broken Road, releasing everywhere Friday, September 7th. And he plays the role of Pastor Williams in this movie. Check it out. God Bless the Broken Road, releasing Friday, September 7th. And the NFL season beginning this weekend. And Sunday, September 9th is the opening Sunday of NFL season, week one. And Ladanian doing great work with the NFL Network. And you can see his analyst work there on the NFL Network throughout the NFL season. So excited to watch him there as well. We appreciate LT for joining us. We also appreciate you for listening, and we appreciate Compassion International for sponsoring this podcast. Compassion.com slash Sports Spectrum, $38 a month. You won't regret it. Sponsoring a child, releasing a child from poverty in Jesus' name. Compassion sponsors like you and me are helping over 1.8 million children in 25 countries releasing them from poverty. You can make a difference. $38 a month. Go to Compassion.com slash Sports Spectrum and sponsor a child today. You won't regret it. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of the podcast. You can reach us on Twitter at Sports underscore Spectrum. You can email me directly, Jason at Sports Spectrum com with any guest ideas or any thoughts on this podcast. Of course, if you like what you heard, share it on your Facebook page, your Twitter page, your Instagram page. Let people know about this podcast, the intersection of sports and faith. Also go to sportspectrum.com. That's where all of our content is. Every podcast, we have daily articles, devotionals, starting your day off right in the Lord, sportspectrum.com. You can also subscribe to our magazine, $18 is what the subscription rate is. We've cut it in half, $18 for five issues of the Sports Spectrum magazine, a great tool to hand out at church, at men's ministry events, at sporting events, you name it, youth groups, 
Sports Spectrum. Get the magazine, sportspectrum.com, and subscribe for just $18. It's a great tool, and I promise you, you will love the magazine. Thanks so much for listening. We'll see you next time right here on the Sports Spectrum Podcast.